Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. As we all know, I didn't start off my channel with a Q&A. I decided to eat a chilli instead. What can I say? If you want to watch that video, I'll put a card up there or leave the link in the description. But if you want to get to know a little bit more about moi, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first question I've got is when is your birthday? My birthday is on the 20th of December. Do you question any of your friendships? Hell yeah. I'm sure everyone questions some of their friendships that they've had before. It's just normal. It's a normal thing. I've been friends with many, many, many different people. They come, they go. It doesn't bother me. What is the most stupidest thing you have ever done? Okay, so let me tell you guys a story. <laughs> so everyone that knows me very well knows that I'm really shit at cooking. So I was like, cool, oh, I'm gonna fry an egg. I put the gas on, but I didn't ignite the flame. Put the pan there, crack the egg, la di da. The egg is just see-through, it's, it's not cooking. You know, I can smell the gas. I'm like, what, what's going on? I'm standing there for about 10 minutes thinking, oh my God, why is this egg not cooking? I'm Googling it. My mom comes downstairs because she can smell gas and she was like, Tia, what the fuck are you doing? And I said, I'm, I'm cooking an egg. <laughs> I'm cooking an egg, what the fuck? Yeah, basically she cussed me, told me I could have blown the house up um, because I had the gas on for like 10, 15 minutes and the whole house was stank of gas. She let me know that you have to actually ignite the flame if you want the egg to cook. You can't just rest the pan on the gas and then crack the egg. Whoa. Name one thing you regret. Hmm. There's a lot of things I regret. If I was to name one, I would regret ever like going near some boys, F boys, just stay away, stay away, stay away. Where is your favorite place to be? Okay, I love London so much. If I could live any place in this entire world, it would be London. I'd love to travel to other places, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel at home there. I feel at home in London, like, I love it. I love it so much. But I also love Brighton a lot, and I'm moving to Brighton, so it's like my two favorite places, definitely London and Brighton. Travel-wise, so many places I'd like to go. I'd love to go to Australia. I've been to America before, but I'd like to go to more places in America. What's your biggest fear? Um, I have like a severe, severe, severe phobia of slugs, snails, worms. My heart starts racing. Sometimes I cry, sometimes I scream and no one really understands it. Describe yourself in one word. I would say that I'm quite wise. Hear me out. I've been through a lot for my age. Um, a lot of people don't know that about me, but I, I have been through a lot in my life. So I think all the experiences that I've been through at such a young age have taught me the lessons that I can carry with me to when I'm older, to when I have children, to teach my friends when they go through certain things that I've been through, you know, so I can make it a little bit easier for some people to cope with the things that they're going through because I've been through them and I wish I had had someone to give me that guidance when these things were happening to me. Where's your favourite place to eat? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, like, I really love, like, meatballs from Ikea. <laughs> I literally get my boyfriend to take me on dates to Ikea. How did you find your A-levels? A-levels were, like, really, really difficult. Killed me, that shit absolutely finished me, but it's done, we got through it. I mean, if I can go through those A-levels, I can go through anything in life. Any challenge that crosses my path, I can overcome it because I overcame a level. Next question is, how would you get away with murder? Okay, I'm actually very well educated in this field. The body decomposes faster in the heat. So if you're gonna murder someone, murder them in the summer. Water will wash away a lot of the crucial DNA evidence on the person's body. Don't put them in a plastic bag because plastic bags will make their body rise to the top. Basically, don't fuck with me. <laughs> What's your favorite proverbs? The grass isn't always greener on the other side. There's a lot of things in life that I've thought that I wanted. And then when you get it, it's like, no. I didn't appreciate what I had. I lost it because I was too busy chasing something else. And the grass isn't always green on the other side, you know? What's your favorite movie? Oh my God, Kill Bill, volume one and two, the best. If you haven't seen Kill Bill, like, you're canceled. Next question is, I tried being a YouTuber and people bullied me. Could you give me advice? 
for the most part the older you get the easier it is to deal with negativity because you're just like i'm doing my thing you're doing yours it's important to not care what other people think because no matter what you do in life people will have an opinion on it a positive opinion a negative opinion an opinion is their opinion so you have to learn to accept that not everyone's going to support what you're doing and appreciate what you're doing do it for you don't do it for them do you like making videos and what inspired you to start making them i love making videos i'm going to university to study filmmaking and photography and animation etc so you know i enjoy editing and making videos it's just my thing and it's kind of like a hobby when i was growing up all of my friends had these amazing hobbies like dancers and my friends an ice skater singers and i was like oh my gosh like i have no talent like i'm literally i don't have any talent so it was kind of a thing when i you know started taking media and i learned like i'm really good at editing and i pick things up really quickly that's when i learned this is what i want to do youtube essentially now is like my hobby i don't do it for the views i could literally remain at this same point forever but i would still do it because i love it it's about me and not other people it's about myself i'm doing something that makes me happy so okay guys so i think that's all the questions that i had i hope you liked this video i hope you enjoyed this video and it allowed you to get to know me as a person a little bit more please 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 give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it leave me a comment if you want to share any thoughts with me if you have any video suggestions and also make sure you share this video for me because the more people that share it the better i do as always thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on my next video